temperatures and those helped to spark off a few of those isolated thunderstorms in and around Jefferson County uh, earlier tonight, but those have since uh, abated and moved off to the east. So we're not going to have to deal with that uh, at all for the rest of the night tonight. But again, that could repeat again for the day tomorrow, but I do think most of us stay dry, especially for Sunday services in the morning. 68 degrees right now in Carbondale, so temperatures area wide still dealing with those really warm temperatures. We're talking upper 60s, even still hitting 70 in some locations, 70 in Paducah, Piedmont sitting at 70 as well, uh, 66 in Poplar Bluff and Cape Girardeau sitting at 68. So all of us a very warm evening tonight as you're stepping out the door that will continue through the rest of the night. And as you wake up tomorrow morning, another morning of uh, upper 50s across the region for our low time temperatures. So again, stepping out tomorrow is going to be quite comfortable. And again, most of us probably seeing mostly sunny skies. Some of those clouds will start to mix in though as we head throughout the day. So another warm night tonight, but Sunday again, cloudy, dry, but breezy. Uh, we're going to see those winds start to pick up ahead of our next system and those clouds will start to mix in. I do think uh, the sunshine will do its best to mix in as well, but more clouds than what we saw today. Monday and Tuesday, those storms head into the region. We're talking late Monday night, potentially seeing uh, some strong, maybe even severe storms at that. Those wind gusts tomorrow, they will be whipping as we head throughout the afternoon and evening. We're talking winds, uh, wind gusting about to 30 miles per hour or so as we head into the evening. So you're really going to notice that as you're stepping out the door there. Future cast showing you those clouds and showers potentially here as we head towards Sunday. We're talking very isolated stuff here and it's mainly going to be in the afternoon and evening and mainly for areas of southern Illinois. I really think most of us stay dry throughout the entire day tomorrow, so I really wouldn't reschedule any of those outdoor plans that you do have for Easter Sunday, but as we head throughout the overnight, you see those clouds really start to pick up for your Monday morning, and that's when we'll start to end up seeing the chance for some of those showers and storms to move into the region. Again, this is late Monday night when you're really going to see that active weather starting to move through. You can see those heavier cells here, really some strong thunderstorms moving through Harrisburg, uh, Carbondale, Perryville, uh, Farmington, potentially getting all of these as that cold front continues to move through the region. I think the majority of us uh, are, are going to see some of those thunderstorms late in the day. Storm Track 3 app, obviously going to be good to have. You'll have those alerts go straight to your phone. It's going to be very helpful, especially when we are dealing with that potential for severe weather. Most of us here in a level one or two threat for severe weather. This is primarily going to be for damaging winds, but we can't rule out an isolated tornado mixed in uh, embedded in that line of thunderstorms as that moves through. Again, the greater threat for severe weather is going to be out west, but we do have to watch that as it gets closer to us in the evening time. We'll have more details on that coming up tomorrow. We'll have a clearer picture of what we could expect. A 10 day forecast looking messy here for the next couple of days. We're talking Monday and Tuesday dealing with those thunderstorms against Sunday. I think you'll be good to go for any of those outdoor plans as we head throughout the next week, though much cooler for midweek and into the later week, but we do bounce back nicely back into the mid and upper 60s there by the end of the week. So we're going to have to watch those storms, uh, those, that potential Monday night uh, for those severe thunderstorms. Yeah, definitely keep our eyes out on